I see a superhero. Who's a superhero? You look amazing. All right, Justin, your turn. Put your muscles on. Put your muscles on. Who's that baby? Oh, I love you too, baby. Go get your book bag. Batman, what are you doing? You gonna be saving that like you taking some snacks. You alright, quickly trick for snack? Yeah. Okay. Not yet, don't open it just yet. Blippy? Why you say Blippy? Ain't that his name? Is that I'm wrong? What's his name? Blippy? Bluey, Bluey, my bad, not Blippy. Bluey. Trucks and cars, trucks and cars. Dun 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 Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mahogany. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I promise you're gonna love it here. And if you're returning, what's going on family? I got so much in my hands, my meal prep, my purse. I'm actually headed to the bus stop to pick up the boys. But today is Halloween. You know, I usually walk down to the bus stop to pick up the boys, but I'm actually driving down to pick them up today because we have some errands to run to get prepared for Halloween today. I'm super excited um, to share with you guys what I'm gonna be doing for all six of the boys. It's going to be an amazing, amazing time. But like, I need to get a few things, y'all. I need to, ugh, it's some last minute stuff that I have to get. So I'm gonna get the boys off the bus and then I am um, going to head to a few stores. Y'all excuse my hair. Y'all know your girl got her natural out and it's been an adjustment. Ugh! But um, that's neither here nor there. I am getting ready to get the boys off the bus and we're going to get into this Halloween vlog. So I hope, or Halloween festivities, fall festival festivities, you know, all of it is kind of interchangeable because we're not going to be doing anything in that whole like gruesome, bloody theme, if that makes sense. Um, it's all positive characters and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. <laughs> y'all, so they are off the bus. They had to run home real quick to grab something, y'all. But we are headed to the store now. You ready to go, Justin? Yes. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, okay. I put some mascara on today. And it's like, the more I do stuff, I realize, just keep a pair, sis. Because pair is more my thing. All right, y'all. So here we are. Justin's back here. Y'all coming? Just finished my target run got some stuff here so yeah let's go y'all justin's having a whole moment even though i got him a toy justin i got you a toy you got a car yeah all right y'all so the day is getting very very hectic but i'm going to i know hold on babies the day is getting very very hectic y'all i'm gonna try to show y'all me getting i'm gonna try to show me getting the boys dressed in their costumes for y'all but we are going to be late to church for the fall festival if I like move slow. So I'm going to try to show y'all as much as I can. Um, Justin and Marcel are already dressed from school. They took their costume off for a bit, but then they put it back on. I got to get Mateo, Milo, Miles, and Maverick dressed, y'all. And that's a full process. So bear with me, but I will get pictures for y'all. I will get pictures. So if you don't see a certain child get dressed or if you see part of this child, that. Bear with me. I'm trying to show y'all as much as I can in this vlog, but y'all will see pictures, okay? Because we're going to make sure we get them pictures before we head out. Here. <laughs> you want to do that, man? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> Who that? <gasps> you want to tell?
Then I made it mess up my mind. I'm not made it make you free up your mind. Say your body talk to me nice. Say now my love you didn't need for your life. Yeah, I love to be like. Okay. Better do your wristbands. Here you go. <laughs> it's okay, ma'am. I'm sorry. Here you go, baby. There you go. what's going on guys i hope y'all are doing good this morning y'all it is the weekend and i am currently making the boys some pancakes for breakfast but i wanted to go ahead and wrap up this vlog y'all the boys had an absolutely amazing time during halloween took the boys to my church which is change church y'all know i love change church damn i talk about them all the time i love change church y'all i don't know where i would be without change church i will never forget i was actually looking at my camera roll and it was january the 14th i went to my first service at change that touched me so much y'all that's before everything hit the fan publicly but i knew that i was getting a divorce you know because they had already told me that that's what they wanted and stuff. And I never forget just that Sunday, like, Change Church blessed me so much. And I have been locked in with them ever since. Um, and it's just been such a pivotal tool in my life. I love that church. But anywho, um, took the boys there and... They had an amazing time. I tried to film as much as I could, y'all, but it was like so many people there. And like, can y'all imagine like so many like little people with me, got my stroller and it's all these adults and their kids. And it's like, it was really, really hard to film because you just really trying to watch all your kids. And that's y'all, I know when those like straps came out where you put the boot bag on your child and hold on to them kind of like on a, with a leash. That was like, people had so much to say about it. like, you know, don't treat your, you know, your kids aren't dogs and all that stuff. I haven't bought one, but y'all in that moment, it's like, I see why parents have gotten them before. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, at the end of the day, you're just trying to keep up with your child, you know? Um, but made it work, none of the less. None of the less, but I get why parents get them, especially if you want somewhere like Disney World or a theme park. I thought about um, taking my kids to, I'm making pancakes, so I haven't said already. I thought about taking my kids, y'all, to Disneyland. I think I'm gonna wait another year because I feel like another year might be good, or I might go in 2025. I'm still torn because. If I go in 2025, Justin and Marcel will be sick. Well, if I go in like, you know, the middle part or cause I'll probably go, like say I go in the summertime, Justin and Marcel will be six. Mateo Milo will be four. Depending on when I go, Miles will either be two. He's two now. He'll either be two or three. And then Maverick will be one. So Maverick's still, you know, there's one right now. But um, 
it would be cool if Maverick is walking, you know, and Maverick is, you know, standing and taking steps now, but I'm talking about like fully, you know, walking. That would be cool. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. Because 2025 might honestly be the perfect year because like the ages, I feel like, because I feel like Justin Marcel, Mateo Malo, Miles are all good. Like this would be a great age for them. I don't know. I will say, I don't know how much stuff they will be able to get on. That's another concern for me. And that's why I don't take them to many theme parks now because even when we was at Change Church, there wasn't a lot of stuff that they could get on y'all because they're so short. And I remember that when I used to go to theme parks with my cousins and stuff, y'all, I could not get on a lot of stuff because I'm so short. And I think I had measured the boys when I went on their field trip. And um, Justin and Marcel, I think they're above three feet, but they're not four feet. They're like, I think three and a half feet, I believe it was. And so y'all know for a lot of stuff, you have to at least be four feet to ride rides, to do a lot of stuff. So that's another thing I think about. So what I'll probably end up doing, not right now, but probably in 2025 is just like a summer approach and stuff, checking to see like height limits and then seeing where the boys are because I wouldn't want to take them either if like they can't even get on stuff. Because I remember even the kitty rides have a certain limit. Because at Change Church, even the kitty bouncing stuff and stuff had a had a not weight limit, a height limit. So I don't want to take them and then like just when I say are getting on the baby stuff, which is cool, but then all the other brothers aren't even doing anything. So that may be another reason I wait to 2026 to take them to Disneyland. But um we shall see. And then I did think about one time just taking a trip with Justin and Marcel and me by ourselves to Disneyland and not taking their brothers, like let my mom come down to Georgia and keep the other boys, you know, that way they can still be around family and have a great time. But then it's just like, I don't know if I want to do that. I would love to take everybody. So I'll figure out what I decided to do. Y'all definitely can um, leave in the comments what y'all think. But I would just want to wrap up this vlog and let y'all know that Halloween was an amazing, amazing time for the boys. They look absolutely cute. Y'all see the pictures. They look so cute. It was so fun. It was an amazing, amazing time. And I'm just so blessed. Y'all know how I have been saying, with us being a single family now, you know, I am so big on just still making like these memories. Like it don't stop nothing. And I put on my Instagram, Mamiana and her gang, like it don't stop nothing. Single mom, we still gonna have an amazing, amazing time. Is it extra work as far as like getting everybody ready and just, you know, all the pressure to make sure everybody gets the costumes and stuff that they want. And like, it, it can be a lot, but it's just still a beautiful experience. And that even comes to as Christmas and stuff approaches like y'all and Thanksgiving and different things like that. Like I'm going to do my best to continue to go all out for my boys and allow them to just have amazing, amazing experiences regardless of the fact that their family has been altered in such a, you know, traumatic and dramatic way. It's just like, I still want us to have an amazing Christmas. I still, I want to build gingerbread houses, make Christmas cookies, and you know, I don't want to have an amazing time. I'm going to decorate my house, put some lights up. Like, it's going to be Thanksgiving. Like, y'all know November and December are like them holidays time. So, we're going to have an amazing, amazing time. It's going to be great. So I want y'all to just get for, look forward to the upcoming vlogs and everything. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I'm always just trying to do my best while also juggling work, juggling my upcoming book release. It's a lot on my plate, but it's just like with God, I've been able to get this far. And maybe I know that the best is only yet to come. The best is only yet to come. And so I just get so excited and just so warm and inside thinking about just us watching Christmas movies and us putting on our um, Thanksgiving pajamas together. I told y'all I was going to do like a Thanksgiving pajamas, um, like photo shoot. And um, then I'm going to also do like something for Christmas. Like it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be an amazing time. Um, and I just know my boys are so happy. Like they are so happy right now, y'all. And it's just like, mama's gonna make sure of course, I can't stop them feeling how they may feel now in the years to come about everything that has happened, you know, to their family unit. 
but it's just like I'm going to do the best I can. Y'all saw how I went for their birthday. Their birthday vlog hasn't came out yet. The prepping for their birthday did. But y'all see the birthday. You will see the birthday vlog. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw like um, a photo dump of like how the experience went. But and then I did a reel of me setting up for when they came home and they were really surprised. But um, I'm going to actually post their birthday vlog because I filmed that whole day. And it's just like, I'm so adamant to just, I can't make up for what they've lost because at the end of the day that's gonna be what it is you know what i'm saying when that person made that decision like is you can't i i believe you can never like feel that them shoes in that place for your kids but i do feel like you can do your best with god's help to make them still have a very loved enjoyable life um that is beautiful in its own way and i do everything that i can to make sure every morning they feel my love if you follow my instagram you'll see like and i'm sure you guys seen it when i did my um 6 a.m morning routine getting them ready for the bus and it's like every like every day i'm so intentional about and i gotta make these pancakes but every day I'm so intentional about making them feel loved, you know, allowing them to see that. And I can just see the harvest of that already. Like, I see their joy. You know, I'm always affirming them. I'm always, I'm just always, no matter how tired I am, no matter how, you know, I feel, I'm always doing everything I can to just pour out that love, that joy, that peace, that happiness, that because honestly, though I may give my kids a whole bunch of stuff and you know all that, it's just like it's stuff that materialistic, materialistic stuff can't buy, and that's those things I named joy, having peace and stuff. And so it's like every day I'm putting deposits in my boys so that their cups are filled, despite with you know the other parent can't maybe doing or how. Hey, mouse. Folk business, but he don't understand at this age, no way. Um, but I say all that to say, I'm almost done, baby. I do everything to just make sure that their cups are full, and I'm just determined to continue to do that. Hey, good morning. You want mommy to finish making your pancakes? Yeah. I ain't starting yet. All right, I'm gonna go make the pancakes, okay? You want pancakes? Yeah. You want pancakes to tell? Good morning. Okay. How you feeling this morning? Hmm? Good morning. Good morning. All right, y'all. Well, I love y'all so much. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog so that I can, um, oh. what, baby? So that I can make these pancakes, y'all. My boy, so see y'all next time.